After a user creates a spatial table, there are two ways to add information to it. One is to connect the table to a geographic information software, such as Manifold Release 9 or QGIS Pi, and add the geographic information from these applications. The other way is through the construction of a query that allows to populate the table with geographic data. As a geographer, I prefer to use the geographic information software to perform this task, however, there are many users who prefer to use SQL queries for this purpose, and it is this second way that we will explain in this video, how it works. To perform this task, populate a spatial table, the user must consider three basic requirements. All three are related with the coordinate reference system, or CRS, of the spatial data. Let's see what those requirements are. The first requirement is that the user must know which is the spatial reference system identifier, or SRID of the coordinates of the objects that he wants to store in the spatial table. This requirement is fundamental, since the rest of the task works around the SRID of the spatial data that the user wants to store in the table. The second requirement is that the spatial table must have the same spatial reference system identifier as the coordinates of the spatial data that the user wants to store in the table. And the third and final requirement, is that the SQL query created by the user to populate the spatial table, must invoke the SRID of the spatial data. Resuming, performing these requirements, the task in question will work correctly. For this demonstration, I have collected some coordinates that form a triangle between them. When I collected these coordinates, I have looked for to find out which was the spatial reference system identifier of these coordinates, and the SRID is the 3857, relative to the WGS84 slash pseudo mercator. Knowing this, the first requirement is accomplished. Moving forward, I created a spatial table, from the query that you can see on the screen. If you notice, the SRID that I assigned to this table, is the same relative to the geometry coordinates that I want to store in my SQL. If you intend to know more about to create a spatial table, see my video about this, as a note. You can find this query in the description of this video. With this, the second requirement is accomplished. And now, I'm going to create the query that allows me to store the geometry in the spatial table. To start, I invoke the insert into statement followed by the name of the table where I want to store the geometry. Next, in parentheses, I insert the name and sequence of the columns of the table. The data must respect this order. Next, I insert the values that I want to store. For the coordinates, I must invoke the SD underscore geom from text function and inform the type of geometry.
For this demonstration, it's a polygon. And to fi finalize the query, I must invoke the SRID of the coordinates. In this case, is the 3857 relative to the WGS84 slash pseudo mercator? As a note, you can find this query in the description of this video. Now, I run the query and if I refresh the table, here I have the data that I have inserted. If I want, I can open this table inside a GIS software to see the geometry. For multiple geometries, I must create a query similar to this, as a note, you can find this query in the description of this video.